everyone, and welcome back to some more Hyrule Warriors Deluxe Edition! The last time we started off our adventure here with the Armies of Ruin, and this time we are continuing our story of Hyrule Warriors with the Sheikah Tribesmen. We are going to the Elden Caves, and we can play both Impa and Link. Alright, let's jump straight in. Um, let's just go with Impa for this time around. We'll pick our Giant's Knife, and let's just go. After an arduous battle, Link and his comrades slew King Dodongo, but the beast was only ever intended as a distraction. The army of monsters had taken Hyrule Castle. Worse, after the dust had settled, Princess Zelda was nowhere to be found. Impa and Link searched the battlefield for any sign of her, but to no avail. Although the battle had been lost, Impa foresaw Link's importance to the coming war. She bestowed upon him a green tunic, the sign of the legendary hero. Link did not believe himself worthy of the honor, but he was determined to help Impa and her remaining soldiers locate Zelda. Weeks passed. Impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron Woods. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. Impa dared to hope that this unknown woman was Zelda. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of the Elven Caves, a path with its own dangers. I do like those little um, things in between where they remind you of what happened in the last episode and then give you a little bit of a hint of what's to come. Now, let's just start into the battle. There's nothing I want to show off right now, so let's go. Here it is, the Elden Caves. This is a gorgeous map, by the way. There's so many different kinds of stuff here. All right, Hyrulean Forces are advancing through the caves. Link is ready to help him, but I'm sure we'll get everyone out in one piece. I think so too, Proxy. The exit's over there, but it's all the way around. Of course, it could never be simple, could it? Hylian Sorg has went ahead of us. We have to catch up. Alright, that sounds good. There's lava blocking the way. A monster have shown up. We're gonna get wiped out. Oh no, don't worry. We have your back. Sorgs are in trouble. We have to hurry. Well, luckily, I seem to see a path forward. Outposts continue to spawn soldiers for the side that controls them. Yep, that's what I explained last time. Here we go. A bombable wall. And that allows us to go right here. As you can see, I can still switch over to Link, even though we could only select um, one character in the beginning. So don't worry if sometimes you can only select one. You can usually play the other as well. Unless there's like a specific story reason for it. Uh, you need to wait until you can play it. But for the time being, we can just switch freely between Link and, um... There we go, Impa. You can see I'm kind of using the same move over and over again, like the big watery one. This is because most of the time in a move set, there's like one move that does a lot of damage to a wide variety, wide group of opponents, like this one. So it's always a good thing to just use the right move for the right job. There's also a move that deals more damage against singular opponents. Um, we can just do following attack. One, two, and hop. That just deals more damage to single opponents. So you kind of want to see if you can use the right move for the job. And that's most of this game, really. It's also the same with, um, what you would call that, Age of Calamity. The, the They kind of follow the same formula with all of these Warriors games. So if you know your character really well and you really enjoy a certain move set, then definitely go for it. Number of monsters is diminishing. We can finally do something. Great. Um, how about we switch to Link because he was closer by. If you're carrying more than one usable items, you can switch with the D-pad. That's right. Switch between bombs and potions for now. Later on, there's going to be more items that you can make use of. But for now, there's only the two of them, so that's good. Uh, hop. There we go. Yeah, take down that foe. I love the way they made all the uh, classic Zelda enemies in this, by the way. You'll see a bunch more as time goes on. 
man, and I just love seeing all of them. They all have their own weaknesses, their own strengths. You, you gotta know when to jump away. The lava's stopping our progress. We need to find a way past it. Well, I think I know a way. Proxy has the right idea, yeah. We gotta break those stone spires, but there's gotta be something that's tough enough. And it looks like a bunch of enemies came back as well. Uh-oh, the dark wizard led us here. But a Gorn captain appeared at the entry square. Well, help! Rocks are no match for a good old Bomchu! Alright, how about we go over to that Bomchu then? Why don't we let the Bomchu do the hard part? Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, I'm just gonna rush past these enemies and see if we can uh, escort that Bomchu over there. Maybe I should pick up that, uh... Here, this one as well. Yeah. We're gonna use my special attack. Very anime. <laughs> there you go. Easy. Maybe a bit of a waste, but some... This game is all about feeling good while destroying a whole bunch of enemies, honestly. They're going after a bomb chew! Oh no, they won't. We have to guard the bomb chew. Alright, we gotta get all these big things around, uh, away from it. The bomb chew won't move um, when there's, like, bigger enemies around it. These small stall children don't mind, but these bigger stall foes, they count towards hindering it. So you kind of want to see if you can uh, take those out first. That's some useful information for some of the later missions at a higher difficulty. You gotta know what to take out fast, so you can actually continue escorting certain characters or items like these uh, bomb tube. Let me just grab that, yeah. Commanding multiple warriors, I already showed that off, so we can send people around. Okay, how about we do that right now and send Link over to those big po. Yeah. Oh, there's one of those guys again. Get away from her. Hop, hop. Hey. Oh, there's a Lizelfos. Yeah, let's take care of that. Because that's making the bomb shoot stuff. There we go. We should probably take over this west square as well. Make sure that these uh, enemies don't keep on spawning. Easy peasy. I'm thinking of just putting it to hard for the next mission because, as you can see, I'm kind of just cruising through this game right now. Alright, let's switch over to Link and see if we can face off against those big poes. We got an item power up, but I'll explain it later when it actually... Uh, we can use it, because right now, it's Big Bow time! Now, they have quite some health. We should take care of these big enemies here. We'll just smack that one around. Gold Skulltola has appeared on the battlefield too. You know what? I'm just gonna leave and go grab that Gold Skulltola. Um, where might it be? I think I'm going through here because I can only get to the center keep from this position. I'm trying to listen closely to see if I can hear it skittering about. Oh, I think I hear it. It's on this side? Oh, it might be behind that one. I cannot reach that. Maybe if it's over here to the left, by the way. Maybe. I should be hurrying. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Hiya. There you go. You know, it wouldn't have been the first time that I would have spotted a gold Skulltola, and then it was just at the end of its timer, so it would just disappear right before I could smack it. That is the worst, especially if in the later maps and in the Wii U version, the conditions for seeing that Skulltola get, like, incredibly difficult. I I'll tell you right now, uh, when it compares to, like, getting high rankings in either the story mode or Skulltolas or with the adventure maps, the Wii U version is way and way more difficult. Uh, once we do get to the adventure mode, I'll make sure to show off some of the, um, the requirements you need to unlock some of the, uh, the things you can get there, and then compare it to the Wii U ones because, oh my god, the, the Switch version is definitely the easier of the two. Alright, now that the Bomchu has cleared a path for us, we should be able to move on 
and walk all the way around. As you can see, we still have a little bit of a zigzag to go. But, something's going on. Alright, Link. Face off against these enemies. You got this. Imp was there with you. The princess isn't dead. You'll reunite with her at some point during your journey, but not quite yet. You can call me Sheik. It is a name which comes from the Sheikah tribe. They were servants of the Hyrulean royal family. The Sheikah tribe? That's impossible. We can talk more once we get out of the cave. For now, let me join you. All right, we have got the mysterious new Sheik on our side. And just in town too, because it looked like we were in quite some trouble. Although, I have to admit, when it comes to the cutscenes and the way the gameplay works, as you can see, I just smashed just as many things as there were in the cutscene just now with one move. So, uh, yeah, they kind of exaggerate how dangerous all of these things are in the cutscenes compared to the actual gameplay. But that's okay. It's part of the charm. Right, these long and running roads are just not as interesting, so let's just go straight here. We found a bomb tree over here. And an enemy. We gotta smack him. hi -yah! Ugh, I just love stringing moves together and just taking down an enemy without even giving him a chance to go up against me. Ah, I got a big chest right there. Let me just grab this weapon. And see what the chest holds. Excuse me. Stand right in front of it. Press the button. Alright! We got a new weapon. And we'll see what that is after the mission. Because we can't equip new weapons right now. Okay. Wow, that weapon looks pretty deadly. Oh, the south gate didn't open. At least we captured the keep. We sure did, Proxy. Alright, the wizard called summoners to the places around the battlefield. Summoners are capable of spawning new units. They will continue spawning units until they are defeated. So make their defeat a priority. Alright, that sounds good. We should definitely get to it then. As long as we have a summoner, we'll have all the monsters we want. Alright, a tunnel interior gate is open, so we should definitely go there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just go through here. And whoop. Oh, I like how the music changes as soon as you enter into these caves. Because now the um, the guitar is a little bit more intense here. Oh, man, look how lovely this looks. It's so good. To imagine that this was originally a Wii U game. Assault troops are enemies of retreat after assaulting a target and inflicting damage. Defeat them before they arrive to the destination. Okay. Yeah, we should definitely do that then. First off, this guy needs a smackin'. Okay. Uh, I should grab this outpost. And the assault member is near Link. Oh, we got a spirit of the caves over here, so we should defeat that. Almost. Alright, cool. Give me your stuff. And we can play a Sheik right now, so let's do that. I will command Link to face off against these fine fellows. Yeah. And then as Sheik, we should move over to the north. Yes, more submissions so we can do all kinds of things. Alright, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, let's just talk about Sheik's moveset, shall we? She has a harp, as you can see. And right below, next to my items, you can see a little a musical note icon. Right now, it shows a thunder icon. That is because I use my strong 3 attack. This one. If I now press my Y button... I can get a special effect. In this case, it is a AoE thunder effect that just damages enemies. You can try out all different kinds of uh, melodies and just get a lot of cool effects. One, two, three. I generally like this one the best, 
um, in the early game. Later on, she's going to get a bunch more interesting moves that show off some great effects. I am especially a big fan of the light effect, but we don't have that unlocked yet. And of course, she plays uh, all the tunes from, uh, what do you call that game, Ocarina of Time. Alright, let's see. Um, Link is only holding off one opponent, so with Sheik, we should take that one down. There we go. Goodbye, Assault Troop. We almost got enough power for a special attack, so we can show that one up, too. I really like playing as Sheik. She goes nice and fast, and she's strong, too. Check this out. This is a really nice, uh, powerful effect. Hits a lot of opponents. If you have, like, a big group of people ready to face off against you, just use one of those and you've cleared out pretty much all of them. <laughs> Alright, got more enemies right there. Oh, we'll just use our special Song of Storms. Just kind of cruise through the enemy groups and take care of all the small ones like that. Just look how handy that is. It is so nice. Alright. There we go. Uh, let's just take care of it using our Musu attack. It just pulls it in so far, it is very nice. Man, they are still not done though. We can throw some bombs as requested. Man, just look at her go. <laughs> no mercy whatsoever. Since we leveled up, we can do another Musu attack. There you go. Yep. And that's that one taken care of. So, now the side mission is complete, and we should move on to... Uh, saving some people? Maybe, yeah. How about we let Impa go save our friend? Actually, she's really far away, isn't she? In that case, Impa, you can go to this place, the stock room. Link, you're going to save your friend. And I think I'm going ahead. Yeah. I need to take over that... Um, what do we call that, that thing over there? Yep. Alright. I'm going to take care of you with a Song of Storms. Oh yeah, this is just fun to do. Oh, guard troop, let's not let you get in there. I say that as I slam it into this uh, place. <laughs> there we go. Keep boss, you are about to get shut out of your own keep. Sweet. Ooh, and a chest. Oh, but it looks like only Link can open it. We'll have to send Link over here later. Just a side note, if you ever do not find all the treasure chests that you can in a mission, you can always replay it in free mode. And then you can just collect all the things. If you just want to focus on completing the story, you don't have to do everything. But it's a fun challenge to try and do everything. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to command Sheik to go into this keep. And then I will switch over to Link real quick. To help out my friend. There we go. Ooh, a keep us fallen as well. Okay. Um, we should take care of that real quick. Before they keep hurting us. Oh, man. Uh, they have... Enemies have this, like, this interrupting boom burst, as you can see. This is to prevent you from comboing them too hard. Because... You can definitely combo these things too hard if you keep going at it. And some enemies just have like a natural thing to prevent that from happening. They either start automatically blocking or they will do that little burst right there. Otherwise the game will become too easy. But don't worry, if you're looking for cheesy methods, they are definitely in this game. And some characters are most definitely better at it than others because, oh my god, you can definitely cheese a whole bunch of things. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we found the bomb chew, if you uh, read the messages. They, there was a this keep down here where we sent Sheik. So I'm going to send Link over to this keep, because there's a chest for him. And then I will play as Sheik. 
I just open up this whole shenaniganery. How do I close my... There we go. Alright. Man, I just love the fast attack from the weak point smash from uh, Sheik. Really great stuff. Get some more magic. West Square has fallen to the Zulfos. Man, they are just really going at it with recapturing these keeps. Okay, um, well, because... Inpa is near. I think I'm going to move over with Sheik to recapture that keep so it's ours again. Because we do want that. Launching two bomb juice, it's a straight line to the stones. Alright. Very good. One, two, boom. If any of your playable warriors flee, you will lose the battle. You can check which warriors are playable by looking at the face icons in the top left corner of the screen. Even if it's not written explicitly in the scenario's loss condition, remember that a playable warrior's fleeing will always cause a loss. It's good that they uh, give a little message because sometimes it can sneak up on you. Oh boy. Yep, that's a dark wizard. The original Keller uh, character, Wizro. I love that guy. He is so crazy. Okay, we should take care of this right now, and then switch over to Impa. Where did he go? There he is. He's kind of snuck away from me there. Alright, switch to Impa. Let's make sure the Wizro doesn't touch those bomb chew. Get away from the water, you. Okay, we can smash him away. Okay, the outpost captain needs to get away from that thing. I gotta go down there and take care of that bomb chew. Wow, they are <laughs> really around it. Oh my gosh. Get away. Let's see if I can kind of round them up like this. Yeah, you go right there. Yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, it just feels good to grab a whole bunch of enemies with that move. Alright, as you, as you might see me do when I fight with Impa, if I smash two times, I actually dash out of the animation. That's the way I can fight fast. Otherwise, I just put down the sword and have to wait until I backflip. But if you do it twice, you can dash out of it and attack faster. Every character has something similar. So you should definitely try and see how optimized you can play a character. It's, it's a lot of fun to do. At least, I think it's a lot of fun to do. Alright, that's one of them down. There you go. Now, we should take care of Wizro because he's messing with our bomb chew. He's shooting lasers. No, stop it. There we go. Weak point smash. That deals a lot of damage. We are teaching this man a lesson we won't soon forget. This is the cheesing I mentioned. The, the strong two attack from Impact can just smash him away. And you can really cheese something with it. Alright. Got one of these here. We're doing pretty good. Okay, now that we have this done, we should switch over to Link and grab a treasure chest that was meant for him. Oh yeah, we got a piece of heart. We should collect as much as we can. Alright, um... A heart container restores all of your health and increases your maximum health by one. Restore all of your... And a piece of heart restores all of it you can collect for. You know how these works. Alright, uh, let's see. I think we're doing pretty fine. I'll switch over to Impa. The bomb chew is doing its work, so I'll just... Take the stock room. Which is nice. Pop, pop, pop. Let me grab a few of those pots over there. Get some extra rupees. Can never have enough rupees. I love the fact that bomb juice are like a big rolling bomb in here. It, it's like so true to real games, but it gets like just a little extra spin of fun to it, you know? Man, that's a lot of money. Alright, key boss, where are you? There you are. Alright, head for the cave exit. 
That's all I need to know, so... Let's just make our way over. And I believe that should be it. Reach the exit of the caves. <laughs> Hurry up, Link. The exit is here. Oh, really? You gotta do it with Link? Man. My hubris. There we go. You made it through the caves. The UI is gone, so that means we are ready to move on to the next one. Yeah, I hope she's Princess Zelda too, Proxy. Link, Impa, well done. If we combine our efforts, Hyrule may yet survive. Victory! And here's the ending screen. Whenever you defeat a an adventure map or a mission, you get a cool little exit outro screen like that. And there's some really good ones in here, honestly. Alright, looks like we did pretty well. We've got 17,000 rupees. And we've obtained the Fire Rod. A magical rod that summons fire. It attacks over a wide area. So it's perfect for bringing the heat on large groups of enemies. There we go. Got also got some extra weapons right here. Ugh, don't don't matter that. There we go. All these weapons, all these stuffs, and a new picture, or piece of the picture rather. We've earned the a hundred years ahead medal. In one battle, defeat a hundred or more enemies with special attacks. Great. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. The next... Oh, pardon me. The next time, we're going for the Sorceress of the Woods. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for some more Hyrule Warriors Deluxe Edition. But until then, bye-bye!